everyone a hearty welcome to smile kids channel in this video we are going to see the explanation of class 9 mathematics chapter 1 number systems example 1 but before that subscribe to our channel smiley kids so let's get started example 1 are the following statements true or false give reasons for your answers the statements are first one Every whole number is a natural number. Now what is a whole number? Whole numbers are the numbers which start from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. What is a natural number? They start from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. These natural numbers are also called the counting numbers. Then we have the second statement. Every integer is a rational number. What is an integer? Integer is a collection of zero positive numbers and negative numbers. Zero is neither positive nor negative. The collection of zero positive numbers and negative numbers are integers. Then we have rational number. What is a rational number? Any number that can be expressed in the form of p by q where both numerator and denominator that is both p and q are integers and q should not be equal to 0. So these were the basic definitions you need to know. Let's see each one in detail. Let's see the first statement. Every whole number is a natural number. We have seen that whole numbers they start from 0. Then we have 1, 2, 3 and so on. Whereas natural numbers they start from 1. And so they are called the counting numbers. Now the question says that every whole number is a natural number. No. So it's going to be false because here from 1 to infinity whatever the numbers are there they come in the whole numbers category but 0 can't be a natural number because natural numbers start from 1. So the answer is going to be false then your reason is going to be false because 0 is a whole number but not a natural number. Well, this is your answer that every whole number is not a natural number but every natural number is a whole number. Then we move on to the second statement. Every integer is a rational number. What is an integer? We have seen that integers are the collection of the positive numbers, negative numbers and zero. Then what are rational numbers? The rational numbers are the numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q should not be equal to 0. So the question says that every integer is a rational number. Is it true? Let's see. Since we know that integers are a collection of positive numbers, negative numbers and 0, let's take an each example of each and let's see whether they can be expressed in the form of p by q and they are a rational number or not. First we have positive numbers. Let's take 3. This is a positive number. This can be expressed in the form of p by q as 3 by 1. Right. So 3 that is the positive integers can be expressed in the form of a rational number right any positive 
integer can be expressed in the form of p by q that is it is a rational number let's say 9 it can be expressed as 9 by 1 so all the positive integers can be expressed as a rational number then what of negative numbers we have seen that positive numbers verify this then what of negative numbers let's say i have minus 9 can this be expressed in the form of p by q yes minus 9 can be written as minus 9 by 1 in p by q form and yes it is a rational number so any negative integer also satisfies that means it can be written in the form of p by q that becomes a rational number right so negative numbers also verify that then what of 0 can 0 be expressed in the form of p by q is 0 a rational number let's see we have 0 0 can be written as 0 by 1 in the form of p by q and yes it is a rational number or it can be written as 0 by 2 which is equal to 0 again it can be written in the form of p by q right it can be written 3 0 by 3 0 by 4 0 by 6 all this right 0 can be expressed in the form of p by q as well so 0 also verifies that it can be expressed in the form of p by q that means the whole collection has accepted it that means all the integers it can be positive integer it can be negative integer or it can be 0 all the integers are rational numbers so is the statement true or false it is true because all the integers are rational numbers let's write the statement true comma because every integer every integer x can be expressed in the form x by 1 and so it is a what it is it's a rational number this statement is true because every integer can be expressed in the form of p by q right then we move on to the third example every rational number is an integer we have seen that every integer is a rational number but is it vice versa let's see that let's take an example of a rational number let's take 4 by 5. This is a rational number. Is it an integer? Is 4 by 5 an integer? No. Let's take 11 by 9. Is 11 by 9 an integer? It is a rational number. 11 by 9 is a rational number. But is it an integer? No. Let's take minus 19 by 20. This is a rational number. Is it an integer? No. So, not all rational numbers are integers. Why am I saying not all? Why didn't I say all rational numbers are not integers? Because 2 is a rational number. Because it can be expressed in the form of 2 by 1. And also 2 is an integer. Which type of integer? Positive integer. Right? So, this is a integer. But not all rational numbers are integers. Like we have seen 11 by 19, minus 19 by 20. All these are rational numbers. But are they integers? No, they are not. Let's write it. This statement is false. Because not all rational numbers are integers. But all integers are rational numbers as we have seen in the previous statement false 
comma because let's take minus 4 by 9 is not a integer is minus 4 by 9 an integer no it is not right you can mention any rational number which is not an integer all right this statement is false because not all rational numbers are integers but all integers are rational numbers hope you like this video if you find this helpful do like share comment and for all the more updates on all the learning needs subscribe our channel smiley kids and click on the bell icon for all the updates thank you friends